Um, we had an interesting thing when I was in my first call. We had this, this it was called the, I think it was Vital Congregation, and you would go and you'd explore different areas of ministry to bring back. And like, we weren't sure what area, so we thought, well, hey, what if we just get people together when we get back who seem to have common interests and see what happens? So we got, there were a whole bunch of these young moms who were stay-at-home moms with little kids, and said, let's get them together and see what happens. So we just got them together. So we just thought we'd let you get together and see what happens. And they got excited. They said, hey, we can get together once a week. And they started doing it. You know, the kids, the moms, and sharing. We had a whole bunch of people who had just retired. So let's get them together. And they said, no, we're too busy. <laughs> now, now, that's okay. But also, I think part of what it revealed is, you know, their way of being church is what? They were, they were raised at a time when church was being cared for. And, you know, and the idea of them starting something was just completely foreign, you know. But what if we operate more like that, saying, you know what? Who's got something in common? Let's get together and see what happens. Who knows? Um, the other thing is, it's very deeply relational. And I think, I think we've been exploring that, and I think we want to go deeper. The thing about relational, it's very messy. You know, um, that, that sometimes we, we come in, in very difficult places. Sometimes we might have folks come in who are in very uh, uh, unhealthy places, and we need to walk that journey together. And it might be difficult, um, but we want to support them. Um, the other thing is, it's a place where we need a lot of forgiveness because we mess up. This morning, um, <laughs> so we had you know the whole last minute know it about it. I wanted to get out of here, and I was just stressed, and I just, I just can't deal with this. And so I had to apologize. I have to apologize to Christy and to Wayne because I let them know, like, I can't deal with that. You guys have to take care of it. So forgive me. Yeah. Oh, good. I got a smile. I hope that's a sign of forgiveness. You know? But it's going to be that way. You know, when we're real people, it's good. You know, it, we're going to have to ask forgiveness sometimes and be forgiving. Um, we have to remember that we're missionaries, not members. We're not on a cruise ship. You know, so we're like, you know, the Mission Impossible team, except it's Mission Impossible because God's already in this. Um, things that churches do uh, like this, they meet in homes twice, twice a month. Maybe once during the month where they're sharing their journeys. And other times they pick different things. It could be anything. Some way they're serving, you know, um, who knows what it might be, a movie together. But to be together and explore relationship with God. Or what about a weekend retreat with all of us? We just went, what, last week was it now? Just over a week ago, a number of us to um, Derwood's Glen. And we stayed at this little cabin retreat center. It was really, really good. Um, what would happen if we just invite all of us? We took a weekend, and they have a whole retreat center with rooms where we can explore spiritual things together. Now, there's some difficulties with this journey. I mean, one of the things, it's new, and so it's messy. You know, we're going to make mistakes. Um, and that's okay. You know, things that are organic... They don't, they're not like computers, they don't just go perfect ways. They go in places you never expected. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And it might be hard for all of us to participate. We're going to have some who are nervous sharing, even in an intimate group. I mean, how many people I, I know get nervous about standing up in front of folks and sharing, right? You know, so part of what we want to be intimate is we're a place where it's safe, but for some it's still going to be hard. Sometimes it's hard if we have children to care for. You know, some folks who have small kids, they can't always be together, or even when they are, it's hard because you have to care for them. Some people moved away, and we've had people who have moved because of their own journey. Sometimes leaders get in the way. Like I said, we like being in the center of it all and, and, um, and have a hard time letting go. And it also, it takes a lot of creative, creative energy, you know, um, because we're all doing it and, and there's wrestling with that. Um, and you need a small place, like we have a venue like this, where we can share in deeper ways. And I think the biggest thing is that we need to be vulnerable. We need to be willing to share of our gifts and put it out there. And, and also had for it to be a safe place where people can do that. I want to invite us to explore this more deeply, and I think especially as we move back into the other, uh, our other venue in the cafeteria, there's a space where we can explore things in different ways. That worship might look very different. Maybe we could try some things that would look very strange compared to what we do, rather than the format we have of the four songs, communion, message, you know, you know prayer message, song. What else could it look like? And let's explore that. And if you have thoughts, you're part of this. Share it. Let's let's explore together.